Now let's talk about barcodes. There are many different types of barcodes supported inside of the Connect Designer. In order to add a barcode to the page, you need to simply click on the barcode uh, icon inside of the toolbar and select which type of barcode you want to add. So let's say I want to add a code 128 barcode, I just click on it. And then you need to select what type of data you want within the barcode. Now each barcode has their own limitations and required data. In the case of 128, it's basically any text will work. So just choosing a field will let us create a barcode that has the customer ID as contents. We're already in preview mode, so it appears directly here. And if you right click on the barcode, you have the uh, options in the barcode name barcode inside of the contextual menu. Of course, each barcode has their own properties, but this is where you set anything that is relevant to this specific barcode. A lot of the barcodes have this scale option that lets you fit the barcode inside of whatever it's in. So if you click on fit to box, what it does is resize the barcode to fit whatever it's in. Of course, this is not compatible with all barcode readers, so you still have to look at the specifications of your reader to see if this is possible or not. And some of these barcodes have static sizes, which will not be available, so you will not be able to scale them because they're not supposed to be scaled. In the barcode list, the top of the list is all the 1D barcodes that are available, whereas the bottom part after the separator is all the 2D barcodes. So if for instance I add the QR code, I could use it to create a URL link, a contact card, or anything else that QR codes support. All I need to do is to add the fields and the text and prefix and the suffix and format it how I want. Anything that you put in there will enter in the QR code, assuming it's in a character set that the QR code supports. Of course, barcodes, just like any other element in the page, can be manipulated in certain ways. For example, I can float the barcode on the right, or I can insert the barcode inside of a positioned box and put it wherever I want on the page. And that's it for barcodes, actually. Refer to the documentation for any further information on the different barcode types we support, what kind of data they're expecting, and what kind of properties they have.